Welcome to this new course, Advanced Editing Tricks in Filmora. I'm Donlai and today's tutorial, it is all about mastering keyframes in Filmora 14. Here is what we are going to make with Filmora 14's updated keyframe panel and new path curve feature. In this video, we will explore the enhanced keyframe animation panel, which has been updated to make animations smoother and more precise. Plus, there is an exciting new feature, the path curve, which allows for even more control over your animations, where you are a beginner or experienced. This update will elevate your editing skills. A keyframe is a marker that defines the start or end of an any change within an animation. They are incredibly useful for creating dynamic motion, such as changing the position, scale or opacity of an object over time. With Filmora 14, adding and adjusting keyframes has become more intuitive. Just right-click on the keyframe, select Show Keyframe Animations, and a panel will appear, giving you full control over your animations. Let's get started by exploring all these new features. Let's begin by adding keyframes in three different ways. First, I select the object I want to animate. On the right-hand side, under the Basic section, I click on keyframe frame icon to add a keyframe. The second method is by using a shortcut. On MacBook, hold Option and press K. On Windows, hold Alt and press K. Lastly, you can move the playhead and click on the keyframe icon at the top of the timeline to add a keyframe. It is that simple. Now that we know how to add keyframes, let's use them to create an animation. Here is an example. I want the Earth to orbit around the Sun. First, I add a keyframe to set an initial position. Then I move the playhead, add another keyframe and drag the earth on top of the sun. I repeat this process creating frames until the earth completes its orbit. Once all keyframes are in place, we can adjust their positions for a smoother animation. Let's see how it looks. Next, I'll introduce you to the keyframe animation panel. There are two ways to access it. First, double click the object and select show keyframe animation. A detailed panel will open. To close it, just double click the object again and choose hide keyframe animation. The second method is by clicking the small keyframe icon next to the object title. And to close it, you can click on the same button. Now, I'll add position keyframes in between the existing ones. This technique has helps to refine the animation, making it more fluid and aesthetic. To create a smoother animation, I select the newly added keyframes. On a MacBook, hold Command or on Windows, hold Control while selecting. Then I click on Continuous Curve and drag the keyframes up. This creates a smoother motion. I repeat this process for the keyframes where the Earth orbits below the Sun, dragging the keyframes down. Finally, I ensure the Earth's movement stays on its orbital path. Let's check the results. Sometimes the object may not follow the intended path. Here is how to fix that. Enable path curve in basic menu to see the entire animation path. Then adjust the keyframes accordingly by dragging them to the correct position. If the keyframe type is causing an issue, we can easily fix it. In the path curve view, double click a keyframe and change the type from linear to continuous curve. This will make the movement smoother and more natural. All right, everything is running smoothly. Now let me show you something cool. Let's say after the Earth completes its orbit around the Sun, we want to zoom out from the animation and add explanation on the screen. I will show you how to do that. Let's add a keyframe at the point where the animation ends. I selected both the Earth and the Sun by holding the Shift key, then click the keyframe button. This is where I want them to shrink and move to the left hand corner. Next, I move the playhead a bit forward and add another keyframe. This will be the final position of the animation. I drag the elements to where I want them and reduce the scale to create a zoom out effect. Now let's watch how it looks. Great, now we have enough space to add our explanation. Now, from the title section, I select a fancy title, adjust the text as needed, and change its size before moving it to the top right corner. Add some animations and keep doing that until I have the perfect version. 
To save you time, I'll quickly finish the remaining steps which you already learned and then I'll show you the final results. I add more titles and continue filling the screen with text. I also apply animations to each text and add keyframes to make them move dynamically across the screen. Next, I make sure that all texts end up at the same time. After that, I select all titles, double click, choose compound clip and hit OK. Now they are all connected into one clip. Now I'm done. Let's watch the final video together. Heliocentrism is an astronomical model in which the sun is at the center of the solar system and the planets, including Earth, orbit around it. Thank you for watching the first tutorial in my new series, Advanced Editing Tricks in Filmora 14. I'll be sharing more editing tips and tricks, so be sure to check back regularly. Click the link in the description to access the Creator Hub for additional tutorials, or turn on Filmora Creator Hub, you will find my series under Tutorial Courses category. And stay tuned for weekly updates. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.